one of the best superstars around. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring from Amarillo, Texas. Weighing in at 246 pounds, Dur E. Chuck. I'll tell you one thing, I don't think I've ever seen a more self-centered superstar in my time here in WWE. Well then, Byron, you've clearly never seen the WWE Hall of Fame. Hey, everyone in the Hall of Fame has a reason to have an ego. This superstar, they haven't earned it just yet. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with a competition level this high. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 320 pounds, the legend, Boy, Boy, yeah. Harris. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. The referee calls for the bell, and we now wait for the first fall in this two out of three falls match. As the name suggests, the first superstar to reach two falls in this matchup is the victor. Two out of three falls is definitely a match that inspires desperation in competitors, and personally, I love it. Neck trapped and striking. Right on the chin with the last one. Oh, what a right. Man, that's an attitude behind it. Shades of the USSR with the hand. Sickle. Climbing to the top rope. I think we know what's coming next. From the top. Top down. Really just laying it in. Boom, what a kick. Byron, what is the thought when being locked in a submission move during the first fall? Do you fight through the pain or tap out quickly to lose the fall but avoid? Off into the pin. No one kick out. Close call, but not enough yet. Flipping the script on him there. Ah, uh, front and neck lock and knee lift after knee lift. Watch the knees to the body over and over. Hoist it up. Man, what a gut buster. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to... Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. With, oh, on his stomach. Boston Crab. Boston Crab locked in. After everything, these two. The Crab locked in. Nice counter. And will this be it? One. He's able to kick out before two. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Shoulders shoots up before. 
for two. Still not enough to put him away. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes. Sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. The legs hooked. Could be looking for it. Stepped over. Cloverleaf submission is in. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be tap out time. A normal man would have submitted by now, but not him. And he chooses to let go of the hole. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Boom, right across. For the pin and the win! Yes! One, two, three! Can't quite get him there. Oh, take it down. It's the revolving door four. The limits of physical exhaustion are being surpassed at this point. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop for Adam. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Getting it cinched in. Oh, this one's over. Tap out coming. A single leg camel clutch and a great uh -huh. counter. That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you got to do a little more to finally finish this. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. but this one just raised the bar even higher. I bet the whole locker room was watching this one by the end of it.